Now, crumpets are apparently one of Britain's favourite breakfast foods foods even, over a million of them flying off the shelves every week. But Juliet Sear is with us today and you say, of course it's easy to buy crumpets, they're very nice, but not that difficult to make yourself. No, they're not difficult at all. At all. I think some, sometimes people see them think, oh, they must be really complicated because they've got all the holes. But it's not difficult. All the ingredients do the work for you, creating all the bubbles. Um, and it's really actually quite easy with store-covered ingredients. There you go. Eamon, ready? I can't wait. We get, we, I can't wait let's to create see our crumpet. Holes. Let's create a crumpet <laughs> together. So the first thing you have to do, um, we've just got some warm milk, a teaspoon of sugar, and you just want to pour that on some dried yeast. And that's what, just a whole packet? Like just the uh, 10 sachets. grams. You can get them in sachets yeah. or just in the little And does that begin to bubble then? Yeah, so what happens is, just give it a stir and it's warm. Just leave it in a warm place for about 15 minutes. If you don't put the sugar in, then what happens? Is that helping activate it's, yeah, it? Yeah, helping to activate it. So, yeah, after 15 minutes, you'll see it started like to look. bubble it's up. It's like a creature. It is moving. like a creature, isn't it? It's alive. Oh, can you see that? Look, <laughs> like it's really little... satisfying. Ooh. Yeah, so you can see all the bubbles happening there. So the next stage is to... Um... Don't worry about splashing me because I'm covered in clay okay. and <laughs> I all saw. sorts. And carry on. OK, so you have like, loads of crumpet batter all over <laughs> your necks. So the next thing to do, um, we've got some bread flour. So we just want to add a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. And bread flour is what? Strong flour, isn't it? Yeah, strong flour. Um, and uh, would you mind doing the whisking for me, Reese? We just need to yes. pour this onto the flour. So I whisk as you go. Yeah, just whisk it in. And what you want to do is just whisk it, um, sort of beat it for like two to three minutes. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we're not going to make oh, the beads do I it for three minutes. You, sorry, stand back. <laughs> but you want to kind of um, beat it for like a couple of minutes so it becomes really nice and smooth and creamy, almost like double cream. Um, once you've um, been doing that for a couple of minutes... I see why you got me to do this. Yeah. <laughs> hard work. It is. So, you just... Once you've done that, you'll oh, leave that... I love that the smell of yeast. It smells so good, doesn't mm. it? Yeah, I love it too. Um, you'd leave that then again in a warm place just for 45 minutes with a damp tea towel on. Mm -hmm. And then... Hey, presto. Luckily, here's look one at this. made earlier. Wow. So, that's been bubbling away there for okay. 45 minutes. So, you can see it's all really bubbly. Um, so the next thing to do is uh, to fry the batter in our crumpet rings. Okay. So we'll come over crumpet here. Bins. Crumpet rings. Crumpet rings. Oh, wings. Yeah. <laughs> rings. <laughs> rings. So oh, rings. Rings. Yeah, rings. Look, we've got the crumpet rings here, which you can also use for egg poaching. Um, <laughs> you, need, you need to make sure you butter the crumpet rings right, let's well. Have a look at these. Right. Here we go. Um, let's have a look. So, or oh, the rings. Yeah. Here we okay. go. Look. So that's what you've got. You've got your crumpet rings like yeah. that. Um, this is a very, very hot pan. We've got it on medium to and high heat. Butter, did you and say that's butter in there. Okay. And we've buttered the rings. And we tried earlier, you can actually even make um, heart shaped ones or anything. You can use like um, heat resistant cookie cutters. I was going to say, you could do, actually, you could do lots of themes then, couldn't you? you could. So this could have been yeah. a heart shaped Valentine's one. You could, could do like, Mother's bunny Day, rabbit perhaps. ones at Easter. Easter eggs. We've got a heart one over there that we, we cooked earlier. But so what yeah. you need to do is just add your batter into here. So I do about, I fill them up about just under halfway. So you can see the bubbles yeah. in it, so and that's what, how it's got to look like that. Yeah, it's got to be bubbly, and what happens when the heat, the high heat, starts to activate everything and all the bubbles will rise up through the batter. And you leave, you cook this for about four to five minutes, mm -hmm. and as the bubbles kind of rise up and they burst, they kind of create little sort of... Dimples. Yeah, like kind of little see, holes. See, I, I thought actually it was all caused by some sort of stamp that you would have put under Did a mould. Yeah. yeah. But... No, it's all... Things you learn. That's it. So, as you can see, it's already starting to bubble away. Can you see the bubbles just rising up to the yeah. surface? So, um, what will happen is that will cook for, you know, four to five minutes, they'll start to dry out a little, and all these bubbles will start to kind of burst and it will create little chimneys into the oh, crumpets. Yeah. So, then, once you've got to that stage, just remove the crumpet rings. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh! And then just toss them over. So just flip them over like that. Look at those. But there's no holes in the bottom bit, is there? Um, no, there's no, no holes in the bottom, but look, there we go. Yeah. So then you'll literally leave them to cook for two to three minutes um, and then you've got lovely fresh crum crumpets. And I think there's just nothing better than freshly made crumpets. So these your fresh, can I bring them yes, over? Yes, please. And, but if you uh, make a batch, they're really easy to keep in the fridge. I keep mine in a food bag just in the fridge for yeah. up to a week and you can just toast them from, from the fridge or you can freeze them. Let's have a try. Ooh. Look at those ones, they're good, aren't they? Oh, there's, there's your heart-shaped one, can you see that? Hang on, I'm trying to tip. That's not really good. Very there's nice. your heart. Ah, oh, look. 
No, they're pretty. Yeah. That could be us <laughs> over the breakfast table breaking our heart so crumpets morning, to each other. Is that right? Yes. yes no, we you're do, being darling. unreasonable. And you just Sorry, turned your head I did. Me, I just wanted to ask Juliet something. We were asking people this morning how they like their crumpets, and it was quite interesting. The things that were coming in, people say I like them with baked beans and cheese. Some people have savoury. I like cheese and. Yeast es extract. Oh, same as me, on, yes. So, yes, is that what your favourite is? I love, is? yeah, I love... Um, oh, well, I always have to have two because I can't decide, so I have yeah. to have one really salty butter one yeah. and one with the yeast extract with the for yeast me. Extract. I definitely prefer them savoury. I like a savoury and a sweet, so I like, you like to do sweet, one yeah. with the cheese and things. Well, here's your Fleur yeast was saying extract she with honey, and which your think is cheese quite and all that sort of thing there as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also, there were people saying that they put cheese, tomato, ketchup, Ooh, really? cheese, and then put them quickly under the grill. Ooh. So it's almost like a mini... Well, Anna kind of Ryden so, yeah. says, we used to have them with butter, sugar and nutmeg, whatever nutmeg is, and it was um, delicious. <laughs> and Chris Rahanda, what is nutmeg? It's, um, it's a spice, spice, isn't it? Yeah, you have it in... Like Christmas time, and it's in pudding, rice pudding. And... Chris Randall says each of the small holes must be filled with butter so it yeah. oozes from the bottom. I agree. Do not eat without wearing a bib. Yeah. And definitely <laughs> not on a new sofa. Or on live television. I see how Pamela. you cut yours in half. Mm. I see, I never do that. It's, that's another thing. Like, it's a very personal thing, isn't it, how you eat Ooh. your crumpets? Well, I've only done that because yours are nicely raised. Yeah. And so, because I'm a greedy butter person, mm. I've cut it in half. Filled it with butter inside, put it on top, and then put more butter on that the top. That's really to good. I'm going to try that. <laughs> well, actually, I think Pamela Ojabamo has it uh, well off to a tea here because she's making a breakfast out of it. Um, soaked in butter, topped with grilled cheese, a fried egg, and a drizzle of barbecue sauce. Mm. Wow, that so that's good. a full meal in itself. Uh, here in America, we call these English muffins. I think they're getting them mixed up because yes. they're more like a muffin. I know what they, they look similar, but they're not. Yeah. So it's not a muffin? No, it's not a muffin. I mm -hmm. quite like making a sandwich of two and having a... Okay. Using the crumpet so if anybody can tell us the difference between the crumpet screen. and muffins, let us know. Finally, Sophie Walker, I have mine with avocado, streaky bacon and a poached egg on top. Very That's nice. Very pop, Lovely, it? yes. Mm. They are delicious and they are really light. Yeah, they're really fluffy. spongy and delicious. Mm. And a little bit crispy, which is nice too. Mm. Thank you, Julia. Thank you. Julia, you are a top woman, thank you. <laughs> uh, for the recipe um, details, uh, take a look at our This Morning app and you can download it there.